back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I thought I would share with you the science of an effective workout. Often we can go to the gym, we may focus on things like calories burned, our heart rate, our perceived exertion, all of which can be measures in some ways of how intense your workout was, but it doesn't always exactly mean it's effective depending on what your goals are. And that said, your goals will vary, which will mean you'll have to vary your workout style and what an effective workout is for you and how you want to structure workouts will be different. However, there is also some overlap with different goals as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Generally, if your goal is sort of more fat loss targeted, then you'll want to do more sort of intense, explosive kind of workouts. So you may want to incorporate more hit style workouts into your routine or plyometric workouts which involve a lot more kind of jumping exercises and more explosive movements and that way you can take the intensity up increase your energy expenditure in your workouts and if you kind of keep your food where it's currently at but you're increasing your energy expenditure through your workouts it technically puts you into a slight calorie deficit which will help with the fat loss kind of process. So therefore, for your workouts to be effective for that particular goal, that's kind of where you want your focus to be. You also probably want to incorporate some hypertrophy training, which is where you do eight to 12 reps for three to five sets using weights. And that way it will help you to maintain some muscle mass as well without causing drastic muscle losses as you're trying to lose fat. I do believe actually a little while ago I made an IGTV video explaining all your different kind of workout styles and why you might want to use the different ones. So I'm pretty sure it was Instagram. If it is, I'll link it down below. If not, if it's a YouTube video, I'll also link that down below. But if you want to know more about your different training styles, definitely head over and check out that video. As for if your goal is more kind of building muscle, building strength, you will generally want to focus on doing mainly kind of weight-based training. You may want to incorporate a little bit of cardio maybe once a week as it's still great for your health. However, you do want to focus your training more on using weights and lifting heavy. So you might want to incorporate some kind of more strength-based training, working more the kind of one to five rep range for especially compound movements like squats and deadlifts where you can really try and max out your weight and push your body. And that will really help you to build the strength. And then for actually increasing muscle appearance, you want to focus on hypertrophy training, which as I said before, is doing eight to 12 reps for three to five sets. And you want your last sort of one to two reps to be where you're really having to push yourself. And if you carried on, your form would go, your capacity to lift the weight would no longer be possible. So you're really pushing to kind of your max level of using that weight. And you also really want to focus on a progressive overload. This means when you go back to the same exercise, Either if you start out doing eight reps at a certain weight, try increasing the reps up to kind of the higher end of that rep range, pushing more towards the 12 reps at that weight, or alternatively, you can increase the weight you use and keep the reps where you are. That way you're pushing your body harder, it needs to adapt, and over time it'll build the muscle to adjust to that, where you can then increase the reps again or increase the weight again. And when it comes to thinking about making your workouts effective for your goals, there's so much focus about what's going on inside the gym that we often forget about the importance of what's going on outside the gym. Not only does your actual training style and the intensity of your workouts impact the end result, everything else you're doing will also have an impact. One key factor that so many people overlook or don't get enough of is sleep. Sleep is so important for allowing your body to rest, allowing it to recover, and ensuring that you're properly energized. If not, what can happen if you go into your workout feeling a bit tired already, you may feel like you're putting 100% into that workout, but actually because you already started out quite tired, your actual exertion is less than your perceived exertion. So your perceived exertion is sort of how tired you feel, whereas your actual exertion is actually what you're putting out there. So getting enough sleep is important to ensure you can actually test yourself to your limits and really push through the workout. Also, fueling yourself right is so important. Nutrition and exercise both go hand in hand. Before your workout, you really want to focus on getting in a good source of carbohydrates, these will give you a good boost of energy, help you throughout your workout. And so having something like, whether it's toast, some fruit like a banana, or if you're training later in the day, maybe having pasta or something as a main meal, just having something that's got some form of carbs in it will allow sort of energy to be sustained throughout your workout and keep you going. And then also, I know a lot of people have post-workout protein, I do the same. But in fact, actually incorporating protein into your meal beforehand can also help with the muscle synthesis process. And 
and also help with your recovery. And then after your workout, you want carbohydrates again, as during your workout, you deplete your glycogen stores. So this is kind of like your storage form of your carbohydrates, which are within your body. And during your workout, once sort of the fuel from the food isn't quite enough or maintain you anymore, your body starts to utilize these glycogen stores. And therefore, after our workout, we want to replenish them and replace what we've used. And then as I said before, which a lot of people obviously know and do, is take their post-workout protein. It will help with that recovery and help with muscle synthesis. And another thing that is key after your workout, which everyone tends to focus on the food, which is definitely important, but rehydrate. During your workout, ensure you drink plenty after your workout as well, ensure you drink plenty. As I'm sure you're very much aware, you sweat during your workout, you're losing water from your body, you need to replace those liquids. And last but not least are rest days. They are so important for effective workouts. Without them, your body's not gonna have time to rest and restore itself properly. And in fact, body alteration doesn't take place in the workout. It takes place when you're resting, when you're sleeping, when you're just having more of a chill day and in more of your downtime. That is when our bodies will repair themselves and actually work on building that muscle, synthesizing new proteins and making you stronger. It can be easy to think that doing more is gonna do more for your workout and benefit you more. You may think I've worked out more, I've done more exercise this week, it's going to help me in the long run reach my goals faster. Mm -hmm. However, what really happens is your body never properly has time to rest and recover. So actually, if you don't take at least one to two rest days a week, you're probably going to hinder your progress rather than help it. So definitely at least just take a solid day where you just take it to chill, don't really do anything, maybe do a bit of stretching, but definitely have it as more of a relaxed day where your body has time to just sit and recover. You could add in a second rest day as well where you kind of do a similar thing to that or you could have more of a light activity day where you maybe go for a long walk or do a bit of yoga and stretching and mobility work as well. But definitely, definitely worth having at least one day a week where you just sort of completely put exercise behind you and allow your body to rest and recover. So that is everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully it's got you thinking about not only what you're doing inside the gym, but also also outside the gym or not even the gym but just outside of your workouts whether they're at home whether they're in the gym whatever form of exercise you do hopefully you found this useful and interesting and hopefully you've taken something from it be sure to smash a big thumbs up on this video if you have as well as clicking on the little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel as that would mean so much to me if you could do that and don't forget there is also that notifications bell too that you can tap on so that you're notified whenever i upload and i'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video Bye.